hello guys and welcome back to my channel once again this is a Lenovo laptop which we have the model number is e550 so anytime that we power it on it gets stuck onto the boot menu once it's loading it will get it will get stuck in the boot menu it is initializing some of the settings so we just wait for it to skip this and as you can see we are on the boot menu automatically so anytime that we power on the PC, it gets stuck onto the boot menu. And now this is the Windows and this is the hard drive. This is our CD-ROM drive. So if we select the Windows boot manager, you can see that it gets back to the boot menu again. Now if we select the hard drive, which is down here, select that, it gets back to the boot menu once again. So to solve this issue, it is very easy and simple. Now we need to get to the go into our BIOS settings and as as this is Lenovo E550 we can't use our tab key below you can see here it says that press the tab key to switch menu now if we switch press the tab key it switch to the app menu at the top there at times if you are if your PC you can see the BIOS settings here but on my own it is not showing here so what what we need to do is we have to power off the PC and get back into the BIOS settings itself so let's power it off now press the power button and power off the machine now we power it on again and keep pressing F1 to enter into the BIOS settings right so as we are into the BIOS settings now on the BIOS settings you need to go to startup at the top here we have other other options at the tops we have main config date and time security and startup so go to the startup as we are on the startup come down here you see go into the boot options enter the boot you can see we still have the same Windows boot manager and this is our hard drive which we have here so now go back and then move down to um move down to the ufi or legacy boot so as you can see it is only on legacy it is only on legacy so let's press enter so let's select both so if it is ufi or legacy it will it, it will boot so let's select both and here you can select either of them to be first but as as a default settings ufi is first now let's so once you are once you are done with this press escape once again and then at the top there go to the security option in the secret on the security option come down to the secure boot if it is disabled you have to enable the secure boot once again so enter it and then enable the secure boot yes yes so secure boot is enabled now press escape and go back and go back and go back now let's go to the restart tab at the top there you can see we have exit saving changes so press use that press enter yes we exit saving changes so now that our settings are being done let's see if it's if the pc boots right as you can see our pc is booting so let's just wait for it to boot finish right our pc has booted successfully right so our pc has booted successfully and now that is how to solve this issue so let's power off the pc and see if the settings are stable or not so let's shut it down right so power on again let's wait for it to go off 
as you can see it is still on and now it is off so let's power it on so on once again right and now it is booting automatically so that is how to solve this issue guys if this video was helpful kindly leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe see you on our next video peace out